Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most affordable powder dispensers on the market. We're going to see just how well it performs with a couple different powders, and see if it's the right tool for the most important reloading bench, yours. The Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper isn't really new to the market at this point. I think it's actually been available for at least three years, maybe longer. On the surface, this powder dispenser may not seem to be too out of the ordinary. It holds up to 7,000 grains, which is a pound of powder, and has a plus or minus 0.1 point grain accuracy on the scale. The display is backlit, so you can see it really well. It has Bluetooth capability, which at most of the time I honestly disregard, but I do think their app is pretty neat, but we'll get to that in a minute. Calibration is quick and easy, 0, 50, and 100 grams, you get a pass, and you're done and ready to go. To be as transparent as I can, the fine folks at Frankfurt Arsenal did send this unit to me for review. It is available for sale at our channel sponsor, Midway USA, but neither one had any input on this review. Now, based on my experience, I will say that there is no amount of warm-up that is too much with this scale. Frankfurt Arsenal recommends a minimum of at least 15 minutes in their manual, however, I think more is better. I've personally had this unit on for more than six weeks straight at this point, just to see how much it drifts. And once it's warmed up, it's honestly pretty good. I'm not telling you to leave it on indefinitely, but having it good and warm is just going to keep it from drifting during your loading session. So how good is this thing, right? Now I ran my check weights across it and everything was within the plus or minus 0.1 grains that they advertised. So no complaints there, but nothing exciting either. Now I measured the dispense charges with my FX120i, and that can report down to 0.02 grains for comparison. For the data I'm going to give you today, I tried two different powders, the first being 8208XBR, the other was Hodgins H4350. With 8208XBR, my target weight for my charge was 41.8 grains for 62 dispensed charges. The average weight across those 62 charges was 41.76 grains. The standard deviation was 0.037 grains with an extreme spread of 0.16 grains across the board. I did experience two overcharges during those 62, but those would have been brought back into spec by basically removing one granule of powder. Those are not averaged into that data set because simply the IntelliDropper said overcharge. But what about H4350? My experience with H4350 was similar. 48 total dispensed charges experienced the same two overcharges. With a target weight of 41.3 grains, the results were as follows. The average dispense weight was 41.26 grains of powder. The standard deviation was about identical at 0.036 grains. The extreme spread across all 48 charges was 0.14 grains, so just a little bit better. I can't speak for you, but personally, I think that's pretty good results for one of the most affordable powder dispensers that there is. One of the features you're certainly going to want to take advantage of with this IntelliDropper is its powder calibration. You're going to want to run it every single time you change powders. It doesn't take too long, and the speed at which this thing can accurately dispense powder is really pretty impressive. Now, any more these days with new products, it seems like apps are just becoming more important. But frankly, one of my biggest things is this device needs to work on its own. And it does. I am very critical that it has to operate everything without the app. And you can. I want to know that I'm not going to be stuck with a paperweight if my phone manufacturer pulls product support from its app page. This product certainly passes that test. You could use this device and never care that an app even exists for it. However, of all the apps I've seen, this one is really good. The app essentially mimics the touchscreen on the display if you'd like to use it for that. But what I truly like about it is that there's a database function. You can put all the details you want in there instead of having to go and type it in, which is not difficult, but if you've got a favorite load, you can save it with all of your cartridge details, not just the charge weight. You can simply go to the database, click your load, and send it to your device, and that it's going to be set. Now, I'm still going to recommend that you write everything down in your logbook. All your data written down is very important, but I still think it's a very neat feature. All those good things aside, there is one thing on this device that can't be ignored, and that is how to empty it out. This empty port works, but I really wish there was a better option. When it comes to reloading, not mixing powders is paramount, and I just can't physically see that it's empty. I want to be able to look down that dispense tube and everywhere else before I switch to that next powder. I'm sure you could use some compressed air to blow it out, but to me, there just had to be a better option for this. Overall, it works, but it could have been so much better. Now, overall, as long as you keep this thing warm and clean, this really looks like a winner at this price point. I am sure that some of you have had some experience with it. Feel free to share that below. An automatic powder dispenser can really speed up your reloading process, but one of the biggest time savers you can have is a motorized brass trimmer. You can check out my playlist on those here. I'll see you in the next video, and until then.
Stay safe in small groups.